Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Austin 360 Studio Sessions. I'm your host, Serena Hicks, and I am super excited for today's guest. We have the Deadly Apples. <laughs> They're gonna be playing some particularly hard rock, if not metal. We've tried to like for a pared down set. This is all thanks to Bud Light. They're gonna play their songs. I'm gonna come back and ask your questions. So if you're watching on Facebook Live, post your questions in the comment section so I can ask them live. Without further ado, here's Deadly Apples. Thank you guys. Thanks, uh, thanks to everyone uh, on Facebook. Um, we're just trying to wake up here. Usually I'm sleeping at this time. So this is like the middle of the, the night for me here. Um, we're happy to be back in Austin. Actually the first time Antoine and I came to Austin was years ago during South by Southwest. And we were greeted by our friend Paul Barker who used to be in ministry and he's now in Pussifer. And he actually remixed a version of our song, Self-Inflicted Oppression, uh, for um, the ministry uh, documentary film. Uh, so we're happy to be back uh, in Austin. Uh, the song we just played was called Further. And uh, we actually had uh, Monkey from Korn, who's a good friend of mine, play on the version on the album. And also there's a music video out, so he plays on that version. Um, and uh, the next song we're gonna play is called None of Them. Um, it's uh, the last song on our album, Pity, which is gonna be released at some point this fall. Still working out the details for that. Uh, that album was actually mixed by Vance Powell, 
who does all the Jack White stuff. He did Arctic Monkeys and lots of other stuff. So we did that in Nashville. Um, and uh, that's going to be released uh, soon. So this one is called None of Them. Don't you save yourself for me, it's not worth it, I will keep on bleeding. Don't you heal yourself for me, it's not worth it, I will keep on dying. My mind's the thing I hate the most, I made the choice to Thank you.
This is, a, this is like the biggest audience of this tour so far. <laughs> oh, this is actually really cool. It feels kind of weird being so s soft because we're usually super intense live. And, uh, you know, I still feel like smashing stuff, but I'm trying to restrain myself in this setting. Um, so the, the next song uh, actually hasn't been released. We've been playing it on this tour. It's called Petty. So it's the title track of the upcoming album. And um, the way that song came about, I had written uh, lyrics that were um, super evil and pissed off and just horrible. And I felt like that would be great for a super heavy song. And it just didn't work out for any of our heavier songs. And at one point, we were just working on this more uh, atmospheric song and ambient. And I just decided to try those super evil lyrics on this super soft song and it ended up working and we just really enjoyed the contrast of it so this one's called petty <laughs> Just for the fuck of it I'll crush your dreams out of boredom I'll tear you apart, forget my loneliness I'll scar your minds to fix up mine
Thank you. Amazing. Ale Alex, I'll have you come back here. We'll do one yeah. of those like semicircle theater conversations. All right, let's do it. All right. So if you're just joining us, I am Serena Hicks. I'm here with Austin 360 Studio Sessions, thanks to Bud Light. And this is The Deadly Apples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good morning. Good morning. As you said, you're like noon. This is the middle of the night for us. Yes. For me, at least. For you, yeah. what time do you, like, in normal life, because you're touring right now, which we're going to discuss shortly, but in normal life, what time do you prefer to wake? Uh, usually right now. So, right yeah. <laughs> so thanks for the early rise for us. We appreciate you guys. Well, thanks for having us. We, for we sure. appreciate. For sure. So I had some questions come in. If you're watching on Facebook Live, you can post your questions in the comment section, and so long as we're still live, I will try to ask them. So um, one of the first questions that I loved Oh, okay. Amber Rebold wants to know, how did y'all meet and become a group? Alex, I know you started the group in Montreal, which explains you guys all have these glorious accents. Guys yes. backstage, they're introducing themselves, and I'm like, my accent is so not as pretty. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Tell well, us the story. Of how we met. Please. Uh, well, long story short, I mean, I started this band when I was in high school, so it was like very amateur at first, and there was like, a million musicians that came in and out. Um, so I'd say the current version of the band really formed when I met Antoine, uh, who's a great songwriter and great drummer. And uh, we just kind of joined forces. And then we met Dan, uh, who worked with us on the Infected EP. And uh, then we worked on the Petty album. Uh, and then we actually stopped for seven years uh, because I'm also a festival promoter in Canada. So uh. Uh, the festival was kind of blowing up in popularity. It really took off. So I really had to focus on the growth of, of the event. And we actually reformed the band last year. And it's just okay. been going nonstop since, since then. I feel like we're burying the lead. You're like, we took a seven year time out. Seven <laughs> years? Yeah, seven years. It was a long time. That is a long time out. Like yeah. people are born and go to second grade in seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Very cool. So did you guys like stay in touch? And it was like, yeah, 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 we'll see. And then the time was right? Yeah, pretty much. You know, like the, the, the first w reunion show we did was playing right before Ramstein in Canada, which was amazing. And, you know, just this year we went to Japan with Korn for a short tour. We no went, big deal. Uh, yeah, we, we went, went to, to Japan uh, with Korn. South America with Deftones, which was amazing. And now for our first US tour in eight years, uh, we're... Uh, touring all summer with Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie uh, on the Twins of Evil tour, uh, which has been amazing. And, it, you know, it's like a dream tour for us, uh, especially after eight years to come back here and yeah. play these huge amphitheaters every night. So it's been great. Cool. Well, this was great for us. I have more questions that I'll be asking shortly, but, uh, well, I should actually come right to it. I had a friend texting me because she was like, I can't post on Facebook right now, but ask them how they feel about this, like, goth, industrial, sort of metal, light version, the acoustic version. Because um, you don't do this when you're on stage at night before Rob Zombie and... No, Mar no. This is, this, well, is, uh, this, is, this is the diet version, Raul. <laughs> this is soft, sweet lullaby yeah. version. Yeah, well, it, it, it's fun, you know, like we, we practiced a little bit on the bus uh, and, um, you know, we're, as I was saying earlier, like we're used to doing very intense performances. Slightly ragey. And yeah, it's, you know, we, it's, it's really high energy. And uh, yeah, so now it feels like very, very soft. So, uh, you know, it's going to get harder tonight once we get For sure. to the actual show, so. I like that you're like, tell my fans right now, yeah. it will be normal loud tonight yeah. at the amphitheater. Exactly. Got it, but so. if I could just put in a request, and I feel like the studio audience might back me on this, I feel like it's like chill version of goth, like super sexy late night after party vibes. <laughs> if you wanna put out another CD for the after, after party, right? I feel like that's the like, it's yeah. dark, it's yeah. slower. It's a good description, yeah. Okay, thanks. I'll Call me, we'll produce. Um, okay, James Envy wants to know, will you be doing a solo US tour after the summer? If so, come to Atlanta and Dallas. <laughs> well, we'd love to come back to Atlanta and Dallas. Those two cities were, were great on this tour, um, as were many others. Um, 
but yeah, there's a bunch of touring options up in the air, uh, which I can't talk about right away. But Why it's not? Being worked out because it's not <laughs> confirmed yet. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we're we're working on it, and um, and uh, even though we haven't released the Pity album yet, uh, we're already working on another new album. Uh, so um, let's you know, talk about that. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it's mostly Antoine who wrote the songs. So Antoine, uh, do you want to tell me about it? Um, well, it's at the the writing stage. It's, uh, I mean, it, well, the songs are still demos, uh, obviously. It's going to be more, uh, a bit more melodic, but still the same intensity. Um, I'm trying to get to a, a new level, which is a bit, um, com not complicated, but it's uh, a lot of soul searching and, you know, but uh, it's hard for me to describe. I'm sorry. It's. It's okay. You're an artist. I'm getting used to this. <laughs> artists are artists. They, they, you guys don't do the linear sentences as well, but you make us art. So you do you. Yeah. Okay. When do we, do we have like a, a goal for the deadline for this album or do we not rush art? Well, the, the, the first step is to release the Petty album, which is already done. It's been mixed and mastered. So and where can we find it? Out. Uh, well, it hasn't been released yet. We, we released four songs uh, on uh, streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, and sure. everywhere else. Um, and uh, yeah, we're still w working out the details of the full album release, which we hope will be this Soon. fall at some point. Yeah. Okay, good. So should we stalk you on your website, your Facebook page, your Instagram? Where's the best place for fans to stay connected with you? Uh, Facebook and Instagram, for sure. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, okay. Oh, well, yes. David Royce says, are they opening up for Rob slash Manson? Yes, it's Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson. Yeah, tonight. All, all summer. That's all what summer. we've been doing uh, and if since early July. If yeah. you're lucky enough to be in Austin, you can catch them at the Austin 360 Amphitheater tonight, Friday, August 17th. Yeah, yeah 7 p.m. Yes. Yeah, it should be a good time. Uh, let's see. Lexi Pixie says, they are amazing. Thank we you. agree, Lexi. Um, oh, I love these questions. Ivanhoe, MSA, please ask if the singer is single. He is cute. <laughs> I got you, Ivanhoe. Uh, Are yeah, you blushing? Yeah, yes, I'm single. Th <laughs> th thank and you. And uh, blushing? Thank you, Ivanhoe. Uh, uh, I, 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 know, I know some Spanish. Uh, eres muy hermosa. So. Oh, <laughs> things just got real. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> More of those questions, please. This makes me very happy. Um, James Envy says he caught you guys five, six times with Manson and that you guys are great live, as we know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sarah Billings threw down like 20 hearts and said my favorite. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm her favorite, or who's I the mean, favorite? Is it him? Alex, I think we're getting a little... <clears throat> <laughs> I think she meant y'all. Oh, okay. Collectively. All right, okay. Yeah. We can accept that. Yeah. Deadly apples together. Um, Caitlin Stanley says, do you guys plan to have any music videos in the future for your music? Uh, yeah. We just got to get to it. Uh, basically, uh, uh, Antoine is actually a, f a, a film director. So, you know, whenever Antoine decides to do one, we'll do it. <laughs> Are we on schedule? Well, when the schedule will, like, allow us to do it. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do one. Yeah, he did, he directed he directed the one for further. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that makes sense. I think that's what Caitlin is probably referring to because she's like, I want more. Yeah. Then okay. Then more is coming. Caitlin, they're on it. Stay tuned. Um, Monique Candiff wants to know, where did you come up with the name Deadly Apples? I wish I had a cool story for it. Let's uh, make one up. But unfortunately, um, actually, the first show I played in high school, we were called the Apples. And it was really silly. It's just because the guitar player's guitar was green and the bass was red. So they were like, oh, let's call ourselves the Apples. Sure. Uh, but <laughs> when, when the band became more serious, uh, I was darker. like, you know, I, I, I want to keep the, the word Apples. Uh. I think it's kind of cool. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was thinking of different words and Deadly just kind of sounded cool. Deadly. And yeah, like. De Felt right. Yeah, well, Deadly Apples to me kind of feels like, you know, there's, there can be. Uh, many meanings behind mm -hmm. it and uh you know to me it's you know i like bands with uh names that you know are kind of intriguing uh kind of like nine inch nails or uh 
you know, Smashing Pumpkins. You know, I, I like those types uh, of names. Ah, okay. All right. Well, we're into it. I just, I appreciate the question. Because, yeah, I was like, hmm, is this deep? Are we going to talk about the Garden of Eden? <laughs> Are we going to talk about fairy tales? Uh-uh. Okay. Let's talk about um, a typical day on tour. Walk me through. You wake up around noon. Do you eat breakfast? Do you grab coffee first? Tell me generally um, what life has been like for the last couple of weeks on the road. Um, usually, uh, you know, I just wake up, try to get some work done, and... Um, what does that mean? Write songs together, or...? Uh, not writing songs, but, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of manage the band right, at right, the same right. time, and uh, I have to work on, on my festival uh, at the same time. That other job. So l lots of stuff going on, and, you know, we, we, I guess it's different for all the guys every day, you know? We all have our different routines. Uh, Raoul is obviously the one who works out, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so he can be shirtless on stage. <laughs> Nobody's mad about that. Yeah, so One in every band. <laughs> so, so we all have our different routines. Yeah. And roles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that. What's the um, favorite thing about being in Austin? This isn't your first time here, yeah? Uh, I came here several times for South by Southwest. Right. I haven't been in, in several years. Welcome but, back. Uh, yeah, it's good to be back. You know, it's a fun city, and uh, uh, it's funny because the first time we came was during South by Southwest, and we were walking around, uh, you know, watching like the million bands playing in every corner, and we were kind of like, you know, the, we, it was cool, uh, but in in a sense, we kind of felt bad for these bands because I'm like, you know, it kind of sucks playing like in in the corner in in the window of like a store or, or whatever with like two yeah. people watching yeah and we're like oh we'll probably have to do this if we want to play in austin and then fast forward like seven or eight years later and our first show in austin aside from here is uh the, at amphitheater. the amphitheater with manson and zombie so that's pretty cool nailed it yeah yeah we're, we're pretty thrilled for that um let me see uh, i'm gonna do two more questions from the interwebs and then I've got a few personal questions, and we'll let you go. Uh, oh, Sarah. Sarah Billings. Deadly Apple's name is perfect. One bite, and you are hooked. The perfect drug. <laughs> Sarah, we love your head. We do. I know, Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. OK. Um, the other question for you is, oh, well, that was me. So OK. Let's talk about breakfast tacos in Austin. Do you guys have a preference yet? Um, I don't eat tacos. Maybe those guys do. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> I remember a restaurant that was a huge hamburger with an egg on it and onions and everything. I don't remember exactly where it was, but I... Yeah, I that, that was like a great burger. Yeah, I would like to find this place and go back. Yeah. But then it we feels like it was one of those nights, right? You're like, I don't remember. I just remember a burger and an egg. It was called the, the, the hangover, so it was for the morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went there during the day a few yeah. times, but we we can't eat that before we play tonight, or we Fair. won't be able to play. <laughs> Fair it would be a different party. Uh, I feel like that was Kirby Lane. Just a guess, just a guess. Uh, where are you guys playing after tonight? Uh, we're doing Houston tomorrow. Got it. Yeah. So we get you tonight, Friday night, Austin 360 Amphitheater. All right. What's your favorite memory on tour so far? Um. I hear you laughing, Raúl. I will pass the <laughs> microphone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get ready. We'll start here, and then well, I'm going to ask Rob. you got to keep in mind, we're on tour with Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie. So yeah, that's why I asked. So most of the things we can't really mention uh, in public. <laughs> um, mm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, it's not a specific memory, but just overall, like, going to Japan with Korn, that, sure. that was, like, a great experience. And... Uh, the Japanese crowds are are really different. Like they're super polite. So when the song ends, they clap, and then it's like total silence. <laughs> and it, it, it's the same for all the bands. Like even for Corn, it's like you know they end the song, claps, and then silence. And it's at first it was really like uh, kind of weird, and you know it took some adjusting. Sure. And. Uh, yeah, and they just jump up and down. There's no mosh bits or crowd surfing or any of that. So so uh, polite. Yeah, and there's there's not even a real barricade in the front. It's just kind of a ramp, and they just lean on it, and no one tries to get on stage or anything. So um, 
yeah, it's a, it's a very different, it's a very cool place. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Raul, I'm gonna pass the microphone. I'm a control freak, so I don't do that a lot. So, be good. So, my favorite memory on tour is very mundane, and it's being regular, meaning. <laughs> you, th you guys don't understand. It's terrible. It's the hardest thing to to be regular. And Sasha's laughing. He knows. So just you know, trying to be trying to find those moments where you can be alone. You asked. Our, our, fa our favorite moments on tour is finding, finding beer for our crew guys, which is the, the best crew guys uh, that we can, could ask for. And uh, We yeah. have beer. We Plus, have Bud Light. Uh, we will send you guys with okay. some Bud Light because right. we are good people. Okay, thank you. They're, they're going to be happy. Are you guys happy back there? All right. Sending you home with Bud Light, y'all. Yeah. yeah it's, it's funny because we're all pretty straight. We... You know, we barely drink, we don't do drugs, we don't do anything. But your crew. But the crew guys are the guys that party. <laughs> crew is reliable. <laughs> oh, right, no. Okay, his mom is listening. We were his just His mom kidding. doesn't know, his mom doesn't know. Okay, uh, Antoni, I hope I didn't just ruin your name. What is your favorite, Antoine? Antoine. Uh, tour, I, I was thinking of the spelling, which I don't do, and that, that's where I got lost. What is your favorite tour memory so far? And Raul, thank you for your candor. We appreciate you. <laughs> I think it's um, I think it's here. Uh, the, the 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 public is so the, the crowd are so welcoming. It's um, night after night we get thousands of emails and texts and stuff like that. It's it's really 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 nice. And it's, we're, we're here for we've been here for the past month, so it's like it's ongoing, you know, night after night. And to me, it's um, it's a very nice feeling. Yeah. Well, when you said here, I thought you meant this very moment right now is your favorite <laughs> memory. <laughs> Obviously, obvi. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, it's all fans. A, yeah, you guys are awesome. <laughs> that makes me like inspired to write more like thank you notes to fan like to groups I love. So thank you for sharing that. We'll we'll do it. We'll be good fans. Daniel, what's your favorite memory so far? Yeah, uh, thank you. This one. Um, well, we had we we had a few like amazing shows. I think like the, I'm thinking like the House of Blues was pretty cool. And, House uh, of Blues where? Yeah, Myrtle Beach was great. Like a few shows pop out for me like this, but um, some nights are just like you, you j you're just feeling it more. Mm -hmm. thing. So it's apart from that, uh, like we were talking about the crew guys before, it's like just seeing them go crazy every night. It's 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 so fun. You guys are like proud parents. So, so no, <laughs> like we're so good. They're so funny. Like we're we're like um, for myself, maybe more relaxed guy, but these guys. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's great. So Live in the dream by way of crew. I'm super into it. Awesome. All right, I'm wrapping us up. This has been another Austin 360 Studio session. This episode is presented by Bud Light, and this is Deadly Apples. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you guys us. so much Appreciate for coming in. Thank you.